Well, hello. How's everybody doing today? How are you doing, Solus? And hey, Diggs, how are you doing? Hope you're doing, uh, having a good day. Um, hope everybody's just had a good day at work, getting off work, and let's just play some video games, right? That's what I'm excited for. So guys, this is uh, what day it came out. So we are playing, uh, going to play this right off the bat. Uh, brand new. Um, day one. Probably play three to four hours and see how I feel after that. You think you might have fixed your air? Your steam air? Good, Solus. What do you think you did? I enlighten me. I would love to know. Um. Uh, the only other thing I would like to to clear up about this game, um, as you can see at the top, I have streamer mode on. So there are a bunch of licensed music to this game. Uh, so I put streamer mode on so those don't play and I don't get copyright striked. Um, but um, I've actually heard some of the audio um, on other people's streams and um, on Spotify. There are music that they made for this game, specifically for this game, that is not um, licensed by other artists. That is, you can play in, uh, you can play during the stream, uh, and it's pretty darn good. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of liking it. Scarecrow spoilers: Anakin is Vader's father. Well, you know, you know what Vader means, right? In German, I think it's German. Isn't that what they say? So let it. Let's. Start an empty slot. I played it just real quick to make sure it worked. And I didn't have any errors. Um, and it was going pretty well for me. So we'll sit back and watch the, the opening again for me. Did a few things, but I think it was Windows because it happened right after an update. Alright, well I hope you fixed it. I really do, because I know that there was a bunch of games that you couldn't play that you wanted to. Hope you're doing well, Scarecrow. I'm doing good. Let me know how the sound is for you guys. I know this uh, sounds an, an important thing to this game, right? With the music and... And, uh... And everything. I wonder why it's got a black border. Ran a command prompt and admin and did a safe scan. And fixed some corrupt files. That's good. Very happy for you. Well, if it sounds like a bearded dweeb talking, we're good. Alright, guys. Who is old enough to remember when you bought CDs for one uh, or cassettes? And you actually had the lyrics in the in the covers. Kind of takes me back. See, this music's not bad. It's nice in the '80s. So I assume we will listen to the entire soundtrack of this before the game's over. But this fictional band named Star Lord, and there's the band members: Steve S, Johan B, Vince T, and Yannick T. I wonder if they're brothers. I don't know. It's a fictional band, Scarecrow. But they were also on the cover of Rolling Stones. It looks like. And around if you guys want to check it out you can go you can pause or clip and go back and look if you're on YouTube you can just hit pause Ooh, this review it got three and a half stars out of five all right well hey mom
Is that you need here? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got Back in the eighties you had big hair, Scarecrow. Nobody <laughs> says far out anymore, Ma. Nope. Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, your mom died. You didn't have big hair in the eighties. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see the live. And you were like, mm -hmm. how old? Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath. And you like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Mom's real cool. Oh, he'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. What places had he been, Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm going to eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. I like her watch. You wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> Think she blamed a planet? Well, who knows? <laughs> May not in this game. Peter! She stepped on a Lego. Your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. Ooh, an action, like an action figure. Landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even. Does she stamp on the Yoda? No, that is Chewbacca. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. So I'm thirteen. Maybe an internal? I don't know. Like, I, I assume it probably stays around the celestial theme, right? Oh, he's got a black eye and everything. Oh, wow. He is so cool. Space Exploration Academy. Navigate the cosmos. Super Mech oh, yeah. 3. With his paper out money. Other games are Double Toads, Ninja Combo 3, Troubadour, Troubadour. I think it's supposed to be Troubadour. Uh, Speedbots and Baseball Blob. That is a, a. I don't know if that's a mullet. Because his hair's not. Well, I guess it is somewhat cut in the front. It's not all pulled back. Gotcha. What do we got here? Hundreds of dollars someday. I right, so Star Lord has its own Marvix comic, Marvel comic, in this universe. What we got here? Ooh, an Atari. This is embarrassing. What games we got there? Frenzy. Mua Blast, Guns Blazing, Gateway to Asfe. Kind of weird. Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. I like this kid. Plays D and D. For things. Destruction started from one little mistake. Nice Gremlins. Ooh. Will he play this? Not too bad. Look, this is Flare. <laughs> and it's a Mind Flare. I like that. The Lost Star Walker. It looks like Mark Hamill as well. Steve Harris, uh, Maiden, yeah. Awesome. I got you. And West Ham. That's pretty cool. Oh, I guess Tron. I guess Tron's Disney. 
right? So Tron can be in this. What we got here? Ruby's cube. Can I do it? I guess not. I was hoping he'd let me try it. What we got here? Still crap from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. A choose your own adventure book. Who remembers playing those? Keep hitting those dingers, George. He'll make it in the hall of baseball sure. cards. This is like my. This is like my room when I was in middle school. New game. So war games. I like that. Alright, I guess we're good. Let's go see what mom's doing. Well, that does not look like the way upstairs. Crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. You're approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Do you think he just sat there and watched us the whole time? She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Yeah, mom looked better in the dream. Exactly. Well, he is older now, but he is still a slob. Hmm. Well, so much for the mullet, Scarecrow. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I want to check this room out. It ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tests. VCR machine. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacor finds us inside, which they won't. Through its right to be nervous, Rocket. Don't <laughs> underestimate the Novacor. Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right. Hey, Dragon, how are you doing, buddy? Let's be nice to Groot. Arrested? For what? Huh. Our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops. Our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. How would we accidentally cross into the Nova Corps force field? <laughs> Details. <laughs> nice gizmos rocket. I'm calling them thumbers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the oh, I like rocket coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> Investigate him. Is his beads at the end of his beard a Groot? And the monsters come running. It goes more like <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very. It's raining there, Dragonfire. That's no good. Percent pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? No matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you could be sure my thumpers are going to drive it. Got a nor'easter. Well, that's good. It's not cold enough to snow. 
I woke up this morning and it was like 40 degrees here. And it was miserable. Ooh, can we look out? Morgoth, be with you. Hey, Morgoth yourself. Morgoth is a politeness thing. Cataphian customs don't make no sense to me, bud. What do we got up here? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still got to catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing. Feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. You're getting snow all around you, Scarecrow, but are you getting snow where you are? Once we've reached that force field, there's no going back. The black market codes are going to crack that Nova net, right? Yep. As soon as you enter them in your console. All right, we just going. Okay, here we go. Rock and Groot, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. We wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. Here's the assassins You're not getting it at your house, just in the mountains, oh, expecting blizzards of five to ten inches. We broke them. Relax, wow. Still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero four five one. That's it. Four digits. Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to... There. I was fully expecting that to not work. Sorry for the yawns again, guys. popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, is Thanos dead in this game? Terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the monster queen of Seknoth Nine than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? Or a knight? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group well suit up. Team Rockets up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? <laughs> Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And shoot close to the drop site. Ground to a safe to land a ship. You'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster together. Very well.
All right, we're getting into this. That's it. That's all we had to do. Take care of my baby. It's a ship here, not a child. Oh, oh. can you imagine? What? The pink coop? It's custom nano resin designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. Well, that's kind of cool. Hey, starboard! Wrong way. You guys sure you don't need help? I'm just scanning things. Totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I didn't mean toxic, toxic. Visor works. Sure, it works. I checked it right before we left. Did you just put checked it in quotes? What? No. How many of these okay. ships? Thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that span the entire galaxy held together by <laughs> pink goo. Ebrium based nano resin. Whatever. I'm just saying it's a lot to take in. Oh, look! Yellow and blue. Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? Flap broke, Rocket. We need a big break. Aren't you tired of eating Yarrow Root? It's so... mealy. Listen, this is a restricted zone. Whatever monster lives here, nobody else has one. Lady Hellbender values rarity in her acquisitions. Exactly. You know, I think I do sort of get it. It feels Thousands close. Of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Yes, it is kind of poetic. Whoa. Oh, okay. I've got to press a. a very late war casualty. Not funny. Repeatedly instead of just press it. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you know who joined us. I, am Quill. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a, a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. Are you calling me a bootlicker? I've seen you flatter your way out of free custody. Wouldn't let me hit RB. a dead end uh, you sure ah there we go paths this way come on how can you even tell just trust me all right hey mm. group you think we can find now i gotta see if there's anything on? over here oh you happy quilt you found the thing i told you was there but you didn't listen that's it walk of shame <sighs> of course he could know i told him Pride and Fall, Mean Drove, Felsiver. I read this report so that the efforts and the courage of my people may echo throughout time. We had finally accomplished the unthinkable. After generations of war, we put aside our differences and united to achieve our dreams. I am dictating this message from the first interstellar Beldarian vessel, our pride, the Starburst. Everything we suspected was true. There are people out here, countless other worlds, some of them far more advanced, and some of them struggling as we did. We were welcomed with open arms by a group calling themselves the Nova Corps. To our horror, we learned the galaxy itself is currently at war. Beldir is right in the path of the aggressors, a violent race called the Shatari. 
We requested aid from our new allies, but their rescue force will soon be intercepted by a much larger Shitaru fleet. We have decided to rapidly burn our fuel reserves to reach the Shitaru first. In our naivety, or naive, I think, I don't even know how you pronounce that word. Uh, we do not have weapons on the starboard, but she's fast and she's built strong. We will ram their capital ship. Perhaps we can save our new friends. Know this, for a brief incredible moment, Beldar found peace. We accomplished everything we set out to do. My prayer or sacrifice will make a difference in our final hour. The banter dialogue is pretty good in this, but I keep repeating it in the movie actors' voices in my head. Yeah, I know. But these are the comics. These are not the... Not the actors. At least that's what they kept trying to promote. Yeah, I'm sure it's safe. It. Safer than flying with Kimura anyway. I heard that. I'm sure it's just a lot cheaper, right? To do it this way. Than you. As if. Naivete. Oh, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. <laughs> I'm thinking right in front through the giant hole where the ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened. Ah! Amazing! I could have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. Yeah, I mean, you have to pay him likeness. I mean, they did that with the Avengers game, right? None of them were the actual actors. Thought I saw a shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. But I think more importantly for for them is they're trying to keep this separate from the MCU, right? Like not even have anything related to it. Okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. That's probably the most important thing to him. Except maybe me and Groot. Can I pick that up? We really should spend half a cycle loading up the Milano with tech. The longer we stay here, the higher the chances of us getting caught. Yeah, yeah. Just such a waste. You fall into another hole, Quill? I'm, uh, assessing stuff. If all else fails, do something. Now this brings back memories. What is that? A new Guardian collectible. You found the Ravager Com bracelet. Someone might have something interesting to say about it back in Milano. Okay. Back to work, man. All right. You take it easy. Sliding down here. Oh, hey, little guy. All right. Whoa, what the fuck? You dead quilt? We can hear your 
It was this weird blobby thing. Not falling for this. 